Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome in to a hungover vacation Disney edition of Snaps, your new favorite college football podcast. Aaron set the tone doing the show from vacation in the Bahamas last week. So now I find myself with my family still lovingly asleep in the dark in their hotel room. I find myself in a full matching <laughs> Star Wars PJs, Mickey Mouse hat, sitting here on this beautiful boardwalk as healthy people jog all around me, sun coming up, and now I'm going to bloviate and yell about college football at Disney for the next 30 minutes for you wonderful people. So apologies in advance for any quality or anything. Snaps brings you the content no matter what. Aaron, what's up, man? You're looking rather chipper this morning. I tell you what, I don't know what's more impressive for those that, that do have kids that, that watch us. Please, 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 please drop us a comment on Twitter or Instagram or wherever the hell you kind of consume some stuff. And let us know how the hell my man T Bob is in Disney, three kids under the age of three, a twelve week old at that as the youngest, getting drunk. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. We were scared to bring just two kids sober to Disney. You took three kids plus got drunk. Maybe yeah. one of the more impressive things yeah. I've ever seen you do, T Bob. I, 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 I tip my hat to you, my friend. I tip my hat to you. That is that Look. is ballsy on your end. I texted you this morning, but this is why you have to find your one, right? Like you got to find your life partner, right? And me and my wife are on the same page. Like we've been killing it at the parks, hitting it hard. And yesterday about 4 p.m. we were like, dude, we got to go drink around the world. Like we got to get to Epcot. We got to go get some food, get some tasty drinks. Oh. Let's roll. It's one of life's great. I mean, drinking around yes. the world at Epcot is one of adult's pleasures. It's basically... You know how you go on like a roller coaster? It's like a theme bar, like Rise of Resistance or any of these great, mm -hmm. incredible rides they have here. It's 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 a fake travel ride, right? Like that's exactly what it is. Even to the point of like you know having all the employees be from the native countries that they're representing. And I always yep. get drunk, and the next thing you know, I'm in Ericados and like uh, or I'm in Japan, and like Arigato, or you know, try uh, Merci beaucoup. Oh, I'll have a uh, une uh, Beaujolais and the Côte Rouge. Uh, oh, it's just it's just oh. so much fun. now now the, now, the here's, best, now the best here's part about it t bob the best part about it is because yep. you brought the arigato is the japanese is like right dead in the middle so no matter what you go right you go left so always our game plan when we do yep. you know drinks around the world you get halfway and you go get a little hibachi fill the belly back ah. up get the energy back in the system and then you complete the trip from there i mean they strategically put hibachi yeah. right in the smack middle of it oh you make me want to go great memories my last time doing drinks now, around the world you'll be very happy with this we rented a minivan drove from tampa to orlando the okay. minivan which was phenomenal and uh did drinks around the world had a damn good time so it's, Damn, uh, I need to go so I, a funny story about Japan being in the middle, I, I guess our hotel actually is like right through there. Like, I didn't know there was an exit outside of Japan. So it's been an exhausting day. My wife is so tired. It's like, you know, 930 or whatever. The park shut down and um, we've been carrying the baby all day. And we were basically at Japan when the fireworks show ended. And so we walked all the way back to the front only for them to tell us that, oh, you actually uh... have to go back back to uh, to get back uh, out of the park it was uh but 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 morale was high the sake was delicious yeah. and they mm. kept just enough beer tents open to fuel us up for the way home i mean it is and, and okay so last thing and then we can talk about some of the college football stuff that broke because you say that you think it's brave getting drunk at disney with three kids i think disney is literally the greatest place in the world to get drunk with three uh -oh. kids because you're not going to lose your kids i mean look like first off we're watching them right but secondly like i always have in the back of my mind that like mickey's got like ex navy seals up in the security room and if any kid goes uh -huh. missing like mickey's troops immediately pop out of a building they're like what the what put the kid down put the kid like like i have full faith in uh in mickey's staff to keep everybody safe but but more so dude okay look any, any other parents who want to go to Disney and get drunk with their very young kids, 
you got to have a great stroller, obviously, right? Because you want the kids yep. to be able to play in the stroller. They get tired and nap in the stroller, maybe play toys in the stroller. And then um, we were nervous about doing it with a fresh baby. You just wear the baby. I mean, just yeah, slap that thing on your chest. And, mm-hmm. and, and then you're getting a nice little, then you're getting like a nice little weighted vest workout in. Okay. So now not only are we drinking, especially, especially with your big ass baby and burning cows. Yeah. Y- your baby. <laughs> T-Bob sent a picture of his child who is, he's a week, he's a maybe two weeks younger than my daughter. Dude. And my daughter is a, not a big girl, but she's like, She's very long. She's like 99% height, but she's like 75th, 80 percentile weight. So like she's kind of built like her mom, tall, lanky. T-Bob yeah. sends a picture of his son who is built like <laughs> T-Bob, just a fucking unit, so just, just left guard, ready to get three-point yeah. stands, ready to take someone yeah. down. I mean, my goodness. How big was he out of, out of the womb? I mean, what was he? what was his birth weight? Uh, he's about, he's a little over nine pounds now. He's about 16, 17, he's somewhere other. Wow, boys, look hot and candy uh, sky of a sunrise mm, right here. Dude. Mm, mm. Are you kidding me? That's a little Disney uh, magic for dad. If you're not watching uh, on youtube.com slash the volume. Well, uh, I apologize. Podcast. All right. I do have some Disney thoughts to get to at the end, but first talk a little college football rule changes, Aaron, as, um, well, the, uh, the college football gods are saying that we think that maybe we should change some rules to shorten some games. Uh, from what I saw, this was like, uh, okay, the, the, the most interesting one was probably the clock would no longer stop after first downs until you get within two yep. minutes, um, which I actually love, just surface level. Um, the next one was the clock would continue to run after incomplete passes. I don't like that. feels a little crazy mm-hmm. to me. Um, they had a kind of – niche one with at the end of the first and third quarter the, there you would not play an untimed down if the penalty or like right now if you get a defensive penalty in the last play of the first and third quarter you do an untimed down they're saying don't do that which whatever like i don't think that means anything yep. and then i think what do you remember was there one more that i'm oh oh no consecutive timeouts yep and i believe that may be it he like off the bat there and i want to see what you think about this maybe i'm naive but to my understanding, like certainly some of those things that help speed up the game, but to my understanding, the games are only this long because the networks, right? Like 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 advertisers. Mm-hmm. Now maybe I'm wrong because if you get two air raid teams, the clock just never moves, but like I don't know, like why is every single CBS game four hours? Like regardless of flow of the game or anything else like that. It's it's cause they want it to be four hours because of advertiser, right? Like I don't know. Am I am I crazy and brum? Feel free to hop in here if if, if you think you no, have some. Insight. You are crazy. Yes, yes, you are crazy. Uh, I do not believe the different. There is any difference, real difference, when it comes to timeouts and TV timeouts. When it comes to college NFL, maybe brum has something else on that. I think the biggest difference between the college game and the NFL game, and one I when I saw this article, I was jumping up for joy. I mean, there's nothing worse as an announcer in the booth trying to figure out what the hell to say about a football game when you're getting closer to that four-hour mark. Like, I'm done. Like, I got no juice left in me. Like, I've I've literally used everything at least twice at that point. I'm like, please let this thing end so I can go catch my flight home uh, at that point of the game. So I'm all for finding ways to shorten the game. But listen, there's two things to me that really – Wait, but hold on. You the were game. telling me – you were telling me that CBS – does not artificially inflate no. their games to be four hours with advertising. It's totally a myth. Yes. Totally what? Myth. Yes. So why are other college games? Why like would they do that for college football, not the NFL, when the NFL has more eyeballs? You mean if they're going to do it for one of the games, because they would do it more for the NFL? The reason college football games well, are longer than NFL games are one, because of these rules, and two, because college football halftime is eight to ten minutes longer. It's way too long. Way too long. So that's the well and 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 my, 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 these my, are these are amateurs. My, uh, these are amateurs playing. There's a lot of incompletions, the up tempo offense. Like when you watch the NFL, how many teams go up tempo? They don't. They're, 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 99% of them are For in sure. a huddle. They snap the ball under 10 seconds. The clock is running and running, and running. I mean, you get through the first possession of an NFL game, you look up, there's set nine minutes to go in the in the quarter. Next team gets the ball, there's five minutes to go in the quarter. I mean, you get two first downs. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's 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 the three possessions. You're moving on to the second quarter. Like that's just the, the pace. Where college, 
you may get to the first possession and there's still 14 minutes and 30 seconds to go in the, in the quarter. You're like, my God, this game's going to suck. This is going to take forever. Just amateurism, the, the way the offenses work, the, the, the length of halftime. I mean, the, the craziest thing, I remember my first NFL game being a part of the Chiefs. We get into halftime. I had no idea that the halftime was shorter. I had no clue. We get in there. Yeah. You grab your 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 uncrustables. You grab your oh, orange slices. Love a cold one. Un- wait, 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 oh, wait. So uncrustables good. from a fridge, like from a cooler or fridge, yes. or were they room? Yes. No, no, no. They were in the cooler. Oh, oh yes, oh. that's the good stuff. Almost dude. as good oh. as the sock you had last night. You sit down. You're eating it, and all of a sudden the coaches come back out. Like, okay, guys, here's the game plan. Let's get ready to go back out. And I'm like, I'm halfway through my Uncrustable. Like I was just getting into the relaxation mode and kind of like chill. I mean, it's like bang, bang. You're in, you're out. College, you're in there. You're sitting around. You're dicking around. You know, you're kind of like you have to warm up again. NFL is in, out, in, out. Boom, you're going. Let's go. And 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 just so much more efficient. But you know what? The traditions, the bands, all that. I get it. But to me, the 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 my top order of things that I would love to see change from the rules that were essentially proposed. No stoppage on first downs. Like, why, why do we need to stop on first down? Like, just let's go. Come well, on. I like, like it. I like it, chest, I like let's it go. under two minutes. I like yeah, it under yeah. two minutes. This is fine. Right? Because you maintain, because like, because that's one of the most fun parts about college football are the, yep. the time management and the, like, it's actually one of my favorite parts about college over NFL is you couldn't do it in the NFL because everybody's so good that it would open it up too much for these quarterbacks. But like, oh, like yeah. you said, on the college level, these quarterbacks yeah. and, and teams having the ability to kind of find a way, but like, oh, first down stops the clock. I, I love that. But, but I only love that within two minutes, right? Like yeah. I, 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 I don't love it throughout the game. You're just a fan of every announcer under two minutes saying, remember, everyone, the clock stops at two minutes. There's plenty of time yeah. to go. I mean, that is like the most no, – no, 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 <laughs> you no, hear no, it no, no, every no. game. I wish – and I'm telling myself half of this too. Like everyone knows the clock stops because they've been watching the game the entire time. You don't need to remind them after watching a football game for 58 minutes that, yes, once again, the clock starts on, their first, on, their, uh, you know, on first downs. There's plenty of time. For that quarterback to march his troops down the field and score a touchdown. So plenty of time. To me, that no way, Aaron. Time. You can't take. You can't take. Look, sometimes we need cliches. Okay, we need them. They're almost cliche. like it, it's. It's like the. It's like cornbread of announcing, right? I need to. Mm-hmm. I. I need to hear like you know. Oh, too much time for Tom or too much. I. These are the things that kind of. Remind me of my childhood that root me. They're they're nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're okay, they're, they're okay. cultural touchstones that we can all love. So so you never want to be overusing cliche guy. But um, actually, we we should put together a list like comfort food cliches. What are the be- announcing comfort food cliches and see what our favorite tired and well worn and well used uh, little tidbits would be. I agree. Um, I agree. Okay, like, okay, okay, would you would you agree that's I'm one crazy. though? Uh, one what? on the important, uh, the number one on the importance list of things to be changed yeah. from the proposals would be no clock stoppage on first down yes. besides under two minutes. Yes. Yes. How do we feel about incompletions though? Because no. I kind of hate it. I kind mm-hmm. of hate it, but. Uh, it would be probably the main thing to speed up the college game, right? You see a more and more pass-heavy college yeah. game. It's executed, you know, a, a, like you said, amateur level incompletions all over the place. Like that would probably actually have the biggest impact. But I can't, I just can't get there. It's a step too far to me. Yeah, I think that's too aggressive. I'm with you on that page. Like, like it would speed the game up significantly, especially with these offense. Like majority of offenses you watch nowadays are are pass-heavy. It's gone from. You know, when you and I played from about 45, 55, you know, 45 pass, 55 run to even like, you know, 40, 60 to I would say the reversal. Most teams are 55 pass to 65% of the time passing the football. Like, and you see all these incompletions. Like, yes, it would significantly speed the game up. But that to me, that's still a little bit too aggressive. I think, I think if you can cut out, because I think they said if you did the first downs where the clock doesn't stop at the first downs, that cuts about seven to ten plays per game. I, I, you know, you think about like that's maybe seven minutes of a game right there. You cut out seven minutes. Yeah. Maybe you find a way to shorten halftime by 
three, four minutes, five minutes. All of a sudden, the average college game, I think, is right around, they said, three hours and 20 minutes. If you can get that average to closer to 310, because the NFL is right at three, three, three hours. The NFL is like yeah. 1 yeah. o'clock to 4, 405. So three hours and five minutes. If you can get this to 310, so under 315, to me, would be a happy place on average if you can get the games to. So I think all you really need to do is, 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 is start so, with the first, the, the, the first down roll. Yeah, okay. I, I agree starting there. But that 310 thing is interesting in the world of amateurism, right? Like It's kind of like you just mm-hmm. talked about. Like It only works in the NFL, really, to get it that tight and that consistent because of how good they are and because of the pro style of offense. Like it's it, it, it's it's there's, there's such a great difference between that and the style of college football. Like if you are really just obsessed with this three ten number, are you going to go too far trying to make it happen? Right? Because like like that is how you do the okay. Let's just keep the clock running after incompletions. Which maybe that wouldn't feel great. Would would it change under two minutes? Like I'd like to. Like maybe that's not as crazy feeling as I think it is. I, I whatever. My point is. Because the difference in the two games is so great, if you really want to get to three ten, and 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 the timeout things only or the first down things only getting about three twenty, so then like you're gonna have you're gonna have to make some really drastic changes. And I don't know if I'm yeah. down for all of that quite yet. Maybe go maybe go one at a time and kind of ease me into it. What I'm saying is that the first down is right now it's three hours and twenty minutes is the average. If you implement the first down, right now you it could is. knock that. Then why yes. is every CBS broadcast four hours, Aaron and Ryan? I'm y'all, with you. See, I'm going to say I, I, y'all I are felt in, like y'all are in. No, no, no. Y'all are in. Don't say y'all. Cables. I don't work for CBS pocket. anymore. I don't no, work for no, CBS no. anymore. Y'all, y'all, I don't work, I don't work you for CBS both anymore. must be getting some money under the table, or you're having the wool pull over eyes. Wake up, okay? Y'all are in the matrix. I'm trying to tell y'all that CBS is absolutely stretching their games to four hours, no matter what, with advertising, okay? You See, weren't there, so you were easier to manipulate. I'm an outside voice. I've put together all the threads and the dots. CBS is manipulating this. False. And two, I do agree with you in the sense of, like, the average is 320, I could not name you. I called 15 games last year. I could not name you one game that was three hours and 20 minutes that I called. On average, I would say my games were closer exactly. between three hours and 30 minutes to three hours and 40 minutes. Not, I would take it three hours. No, but you were on ESPN. I would, I, I would eat that up. The only time I had a three-hour game is when I worked for CBS and when I covered the Air Force. Like I never in my life gave two shits about the the the, the you know – uh, the the wing T offense hated it. I'm like, damn it, you're gonna put me on an Air Force game. This sucks. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I go for an Air Force game, and it's done in three hours. I'm like, dude, give me Air Force every week. I will be the biggest. Yeah, hell yeah. All the Air Forces. <laughs> send me the Navy. Send me the Army. Send me the Air Force. If I know that my game is gonna be three hours on the dot, and I'm in and I'm out, I will love up on this wing T offense all day long compared to calling a game for four hours of incompletion. Yeah. So um big, big, that, big shout out uh, to the Air Force is doing it right for the fans. I, I, and I was uh oh am I am I lost? Okay no I'm here. I was very concerned that you're gonna put some bad audio out there and say I never gave two shits about Air Force. Uh no. you gotta got look here, I, I, I save myself we support the troops. Yes, we, we, we support, support all the troops here on snaps. Um, all right, so those are the college football rule changes. We'll probably go a little more in depth uh, as as the conversation continues. And I'm not sitting here in this beautiful, beautiful Disney setting again, man. Look at oh, this, dude. Oh, um, what's what's Dion, what's, on, what's on today's uh, docket, by the way? What's on today's docket, by the way? Uh, we are going – today's supposed to be the last day. Me and my wife are toying with the idea of upping by another day. We'll see. But um, we are going to go hard at Magic Kingdom today. Mm-hmm. Um, nice. You know what? Look, we can talk about Deion in Colorado later. It's, uh, there's nothing time-sensitive there. But basically, Deion's saying, look, man, we ain't going to accept low expectations. And I love it. I do want to get into it. But we got to I, – I, I do have, I do have one topic minutes. I want to hit with you, T. Oh, yeah. What you got? Oh, yeah. My bad. Go ahead. Came out the Longhorn. This is interesting because I know you love Texas so much. The Longhorn Network will officially be moving from the Big Twelve, or the 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 Longhorn Network will be being essentially wrapped up into 
the SEC network, which I think is great. Like, yeah. it's always been like, yeah. we're better than everyone else. We deserve our own network. Oh, we're high and tidy. Our shit don't sink kind of thing. And I love the fact yeah. that the SEC is like, sorry, that ain't going to roll with us. Like, if you're going to be part of the SEC, you're going to be part of this SEC network in that package. So, um, yeah, Greg, no Greg, more Greg Sankey don't play those channel. games. Yeah, hell no. No, okay. Now, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad, though, that you said it's going to be rolled in because, like, honestly – I, look, I don't want people to lose jobs. Okay, you know, there's a lot no, of people who are very no, no, no. happy to have their Nazi jobs. All so, so, so that's that that's great. But um, yeah, hell no, dude. Texas's brand is not bigger than the SEC. So you're telling me there will be no Longhorn Network now? It'll all just be SEC. The Longhorn Network will be folded. People, the, the Texas AD okay. uh, Del Conte said the Longhorn Network will be folded into the SEC network. Boom. Okay. Hell yeah. So. Okay, yeah, that's great. I think um, I think that's a kind of a funny ending for the Longhorn Network, as it was the thing mm -hmm. that kind of broke the Big Twelve, or, or really like <laughs> drove a sh a wedge in, in in the Big Twelve at A and M, and and made everybody so upset. And now, I mean, Texas A and M, dude, they can't escape it. They try to get away from Texas. They try to get away from the Longhorn Network, mm -hmm. and now the big bad bullies back. Oh, uh, uh, all right. I I, I have no. I have no great reaction to that except good Texas, humble yourself, yes. and I'm glad nobody's losing their job at least. I thought you were going to tell me they were going to retain it, and I would not have been a fan of that, no, or at least not, not a fan. Well, There's we'll no see. way that would have fallen. T Bob, I have a definitive answer yes. on, this, on this SEC on CBS thing. Yes. Uh -oh. So what what the issue is for all the big national games? So the big seven o'clock on ESPN game, the three thirty game, mm -hmm. the Fox at noon game, all of those mm -hmm. have longer than standard commercial breaks so the national oh. game on all three networks is longer the, the reason how much longer thank you but thank but, you but, exactly but cbs is not that is you okay to be is, clear to be clear when i'm saying cbs i am i am meaning that cbs prime time 230 game so maybe you're right you're right so that's, I, that's I, I am I'm guilty the main of, prime time game yes for all the networks is longer because they, they they shove in an extra i think it's like an extra 15 seconds of break for like 20 breaks so that adds like five minutes yeah yes because of course they do because they can because they want to make more money see guys third eye fully open it adds right four here, minutes dude. it adds four minutes a game i mean, that is, I mean there's four <laughs> breaks per, per quarter one yeah. minute added per quarter that that extra you know, four minutes right there. See, but that's only. But that was. But see, so we. But that's where we were dis, uh, disagreeing. Yeah. Was it's not a CBS issue. It's a national inventory. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, dude. Move. It move, just. It's move, just move like the goalposts that you. T Bob here, was right. Sure, just give it to. Give it to T, -T Bob. You. You're right. I, Here's. I, you but no. But my, my third eye is still open. Third eye and those are just the extended breaks they tell you about. Okay, mm -hmm. when you wrote. Paper, in college did you ever do this you know this and you could bump up the margins to like 1.05 oh, yeah. or like 1.1 oh, yeah. right okay so you never told your teacher about that basically what brum's talking about there is like um you know maybe like double spacing or something. like like there's still some shenanigans going on behind you can make That's the period 16 point font when your paper is 12 point all that stuff Wait, yes. wait, who? Yeah, who talked? Was that us talking about that actually the other day? Is that what is in my head? Because I'd never heard of that before, and somebody told me that it's pretty damn good. Um, all right, uh, we got to wrap up here. Uh, uh, I T Bob, I, I, I you know the what? Light is now sh the light is now fully on you. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, those pajamas are glorious. By the way, just, just <laughs> look full, full, full body. <laughs> Please, if you're listening Full on podcast, please just go look at the podcast. T-Bob looks like an overgrown child right now. Um, I look. I, if I saw T-Bob on the boardwalk, I would and grab my so son. And, and I would grab my son and walk to the other side of the boardwalk if I saw T-Bob at the moment. <laughs> I'm, I'm painting. You're, dude, you're not wrong. I'm painting a greasy looking picture right yeah, you now. Probably smell like, it does not you look like you like fully trust too. me. Um, I, I showered, I think. Yeah, okay. no, I took a shower. Okay. I took you. a shower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind. I apologize I took a very for that. long shower. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah. I woke up at like 3 a.m. and showered for like half an hour. I had one of those kind of like, oh. 
sort of uh, feelings, but it was it was very fun. Okay, look, since we have to go, I will save my extended uh, dad thoughts for the next episode because I have a lot of them, about very very good ones. And we have to debrief but, um, on Aaron and uh, Brum meeting in real life. Oh yeah, yes, we, we yes, met in yes, Baton yes, Rouge yes, 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 yes. months ago. Yes. Um, oh. But like, but we're yeah, extending time together, you know. This is a real, you know. yeah. But like a double date, like double date's a big deal. Though. It was oh, a double yeah. date. It's not it was a double date. It was a that's great double not, date. You know that that that's when you're at least at least know, twenty then, minutes were spent talking about T Bob and how amazing T Bob was, <laughs> and we try to face T Bob and T Bob did not and, and how question. giant T Bob's children. I know. I'm sorry, dude. Yes. Uh, yeah, the big boys. Well, also like that's like, and I'm very flattered, but but I also recognize the social dynamics at play there. That's kind of the – we're all, like, each other's connective tissue in these relationships, right? So if I'm on a double date as well, like, that's great conversation fodder, right, to keep everything moving and kind of the wives and everything. So it's wonderful, y'all. That makes me very happy. I'm very sorry, Mr. FaceTime, you know, being fully present with the kids here at Disney. You have to. But – um uh, I love you, boys. I miss you, boys. Can't wait to be back in the office. And I am about to go, so I can. Uh, we're gonna go hit up Magic Kingdom. I'm so excited, dude. I haven't ridden. Peter go get, Dan go get, go get you like some Mickey time. Enjoy your nine years guy. old. Yeah, and I'm gonna go get the kids on Peter Pan. Uh, look, we love you. A huge thank you to Aaron Murray. Huge thank you to uh, our excellent production team. Uh, Paul, production team sounds so serious. Everybody helps make snaps. Paul Ferryton, Pat Gunner, Ryan Brumley, Adam Gracia, Danny Cardenas. A uh, huge thank you to Papa Colin for having us here at The Volume, uh, youtube.com slash The Volume. And um, sub to the pod, man. Uh, if you like the pod, sub to wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, shout out to FanDuel, promo code SNAPS. We love you. And uh, we will see you. I'm driving tomorrow. So I'm not uh, I could maybe do it before the drive. So we're not 100% if we'll do something or not tomorrow. We should be back to our regular scheduled programming on Thursday. We love you. We'll see you on the next snaps. Uh-huh.